Steelers! Steelers! <laughs> we're back! Steelers! Right? We're back! <laughs> Watch out! We're back! Don't let us get hot! Don't let us get hot! That was good to see the Steelers get a win, though, huh? Makes everything feel a little more, more normal, I guess. Uh, yeah, yeah it, it's kinda. not as uh, sad as Monday could possibly be. But, yes, uh, it's nice to see the Steelers actually get a win. Welcome to the show, by the way. Let's have a week of shows here. It is uh, Mikey and Bob, the 96-1 Kiss Morning Freak Show. Of course, yesterday the Steelers beat the Saints at home 20-10. to Their record is now 3-6. and uh, Was it just me that was that game, like, incredibly boring to watch? Like, not. A lot of like crazy plays and no, <laughs> just no, seemed not a lot like of... a task to have to watch the Steelers and Saints just slug it out back and forth for a twenty to ten game. Yeah, right? yeah, not a lot of fun happening. But you know what? The Steelers get a win, and that's better than the Steelers getting a loss. They are now three and six on the season, and you already know what we do after a Steeler game. Obviously, we'll hear from Kenny Pickett and Coach Tomlin and all that. How about Kenny Pickett? Little go, go, Kenny oh, Pickett. Go, go, huh? Kenny Pickett, huh? Uh, but this morning, we will dig in, even after a win, to the Steelers Facebook comment <laughs> section and see how Steeler Nation is feeling after a win that takes them to three and six. Steelers Facebook comments this morning around 7.55. And we also have your chance at Taylor Swift tickets this morning in the 9 o'clock hour. Good morning. Let's have a week this week. It is Mikey and Bob, the Kiss Morning. Free show. 961. Kiss. Mikey and Bob, it's the 961 Kiss Morning Free Show. This morning we have two concert announcements to make. So why are we stacking two up today? Can't we spread these out? We gotta have two on a Monday. Unleash them all. Uh two pretty big 961 Kiss concert announcements coming up towards the end of our show around 10 a.m. this morning. All right, let's get to some messages. Uh, from over the weekend, we will go down to Florida for this one here. Hey, Mikey Bob, Tim from Pasco County checking in, listening to the podcast. As always, daily cards for me. Yeah. Raccoon Tim, just wondering what he's up to, you know. Uh, I, I, I check in with you guys to hear what's going on in the city of Pittsburgh. But, yeah. you know, Raccoon Tim, I think about you every day, too. <laughs> you know, I kind of can't think about Mikey and Bob. Without wondering how Raccoon Tim is doing, too. All right, so Raccoon Tim, again, he's been uh, a, a part of the show now <laughs> for a couple months, and Raccoon Tim actually emailed me over the weekend, Bob, because he got a new pet. He sent me a picture and everything. This is the message that was left for us over the weekend by Raccoon Tim. Hey, Mikey and Big Bob, Raccoon Tim here. There he is. So, Mikey, yeah. I did it again. <laughs> Everybody, meet Cuddles. The long hair, fluffy rabbit. Okay, now I'm going to show you a picture because Raccoon Tim got a <laughs> long haired, fluffy rabbit named Cuddles. Cuddles the rabbit. All right, I got a picture of Raccoon Tim. It looks like he's in the passenger seat of a vehicle. He is smiling ear to ear, a big smile with a giant rabbit named Cuddles. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. Yes, Tim. Yes. All right, so Raccoon Tim, hold on, there's more to the message. Hey, 20 bucks for him. Rescued him at the reptile show. All right, hold on. <laughs> Raccoon Tim got a giant long-haired rabbit for $20 at the reptile show? I also found a dealer okay. to get me hedgehogs. Oh, boy. And I found a dealer <laughs> for a red-eyed crocodile right. skink. Okay. And a white-eyed crocodile skink. All right, so basically, uh, <laughs> that goes down. I got a guy. That goes down to the guy. In Florida, who likes to listen to our show? Hey, what's up with Raccoon Tim? Well, he was at the reptile show over the weekend, and it seems like he uh, bought a twenty-dollar long-haired rabbit. But also, he's got a guy now that can get him hedgehogs and other animals. So there you go. You were wondering what's up with Raccoon Tim, and there is your Still raccoon. you're collecting. <laughs> There's your Raccoon Tim update. All right, we have a lot to do on the show today. We'll get to a round of Steelers Facebook comments after their win yesterday around 7.55. You could win $1,000 around 9.10 and two big 96.1 Kiss shows to announce this morning around 10 a.m. It's Mikey and Bob. 96.1 Kiss. Mikey and Bob, it is the 96.1 Kiss Morning Freak Show. It is cold out this morning. Highs today just going to the low 40s. Uh, there's going to be clouds with a mix of sun, but chilly 
uh, today. There were some snow flurries, huh? Yeah. Little well, snow yeah. flurries yesterday. That's starting to become a regular part of our life now here in Pittsburgh. We're there. Of course, uh, a chilly Monday is always better when a Steeler victory warms us all up. The Steelers beat the Saints 20-10, to 10, so we can bring sensual Coach Tomlin back into the mix, right? Mm -hmm. By the way, congratulations to Coach Tomlin. The Saints were the only NFL team, other than obviously the Steelers, that he had left to beat as a head coach. So Coach Tomlin has now defeated all other 31 NFL teams. So congratulations to Coach Tomlin. Now, let's take Coach Tomlin's post-game clips because everybody's going to be playing these this morning. And if you didn't see them online and all that, we're going to take them and slow them down and make them so, so sensual. Here is Coach Tomlin after the victory talking about not taking wins for granted. Oh, yeah, here we go. We don't take it for granted. We appreciate it. But we also understand it's not anything mystical. Oh. It's good work. Um, it's minimizing negativity. Mm. Uh, staying on schedule on offense and possessing the ball, running the ball, uh, winning possession downs on defense. Oh. Oh. Nothing mystical about it. Mm -mm. Sensual. Coach Tom Wick. Getting the dub. <laughs> it's it's good when the Steelers are winning. It is. It, it is. makes it easier for us to just laugh about it and joke and have a good time. Obviously, the Steelers' run game was a big uh, contributor to the Steelers' uh, victory. Kenny Pickett had 199 yards passing, but also 53 yards rushing. Uh, Naj had 90 uh, 99 yards rushing on 20 carries. The Steelers had. 217 yards rushing. Here is Coach Tomlin about getting the running game going. Oh, yeah. You know, quarterback mobility is a component of it. Um, I thought Kenny did some good things with his legs. I thought the running mm. ran hard. and um, I thought we came off the ball as, as some bigs up front. Mm. Um, we ran off the ball. And, um, and so we'll just keep building. Bigs up front. Oh, yeah. Oh, Mobile quarterback. It's a weird thing to see, isn't it? it it's is, a weird it thing to see out there when the pocket collapses and Kenny can just take off and you're like, you don't feel like, oh my gosh, don't get hurt, don't get hurt. You're just like, this guy can handle it. We have a, a quarterback who's capable of running out of the pocket and getting eight yards. Uh, it was, in, listen, there wasn't a lot to just say fire Matt Canada yesterday, right? It's just like pound the ball. Kenny did what he needed to do. It's like it all kind of, kind of worked. No turnovers. But I also believe that the Saints are a really bad football yeah, team. that too. And I think that game plan probably <laughs> loses <laughs> against a formidable, like, playoff team. But listen, either way, it's good to just have a Steeler victory. They are now 3-6 and six on the season. And we will read some Steelers Facebook comments because even after a victory, there are always always some people in the Facebook comments that make us smile and laugh. Steeler Facebook comments around 755. Also, the Steelers next game will be at home Sunday. Remember that one got flexed out from Sunday night football, so it's a 425 start now mm -hmm. on Sunday against the Bengals. We will have your Steelers Bengals tickets Thursday morning on our show around 730. <laughs> that is unholy by by Sam Smith and Kim Petras. It is Mikey and Bob, the 961 Kiss Morning Freak Show. Uh, how was your weekend, Bob? Did you do anything? Did you binge watch anything this weekend? I didn't dig too in, in too deep on anything, no. Okay, I did. I'm done with the new season of Manifest, that show that NBC dropped, but then Netflix picked it up because people like me raged online about it. Yeah. So I finished the first half of the final season of Manifest, but then I didn't have any time this weekend to watch The Crown on Netflix, the new season gone away, right? <laughs> like, it's right. just gone downhill. But the final episode ever of The Walking Dead, now, of course, there's spinoffs and everything, but at one point, this was, like, the biggest show on TV. And this had, like, 10 million people watching every week, and it's since fallen off. But the final episode is coming up this Sunday. So <laughs> I started watching the final season of The Walking Dead, and I don't know if I've ever hate-watched something so bad. I just have no interest in it whatsoever. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm done with these characters. I just you have to watch the final season. You think you can just watch the finale? No, I got to I got to build myself up a little bit. And then listen, the biggest show on TV, the new episode 
came out last night for the new season. I'm talking about Yellowstone. Are you a Yellowstone guy, Bob? No, you watch Yellowstone? no I don't. All right, see, so that's on Paramount+. Plus. You guys tell me I need to watch this? You definitely need to watch okay. Yellowstone. No, Yellowstone, no, Yellowstone uh, is awesome. I'm telling you, Beth on Yellowstone is one of the greatest TV characters that exist today. But there was a new season in a new episode of Yellowstone. It was like a two-hour premiere that was last night. But I've I, I have never watched Yellowstone live. I've always caught up binging it. Right. So I was like, you know, even watching the Steeler game yesterday, all I was seeing, almost every commercial break was uh, you know, premiere Yellowstone. I don't have Paramount Plus. I don't have Paramount Plus. <laughs> That's where it's at. They finally it's found a show. Time. They finally found a show. And they stashed it over on Paramount Plus, which I don't have. So I think what I need to do for Yellowstone is wait till it gets to the season finale, then binge it in a week. So instead of paying for like two or three months of Paramount Plus, okay. I only pay for one month when they air this, the, the, the season finale. Yeah, that's not going to happen because I know how you operate. You can't take it when other people watch shows and you can't see them. So no. as soon as you see something about Yellowstone, you're going to go buy Paramount Plus and yeah. watch the, the show. I know I, how this works. I, I'll watch the new this episode. This is all tough talk. I'll watch the new episode of like Yellowstone. The minute you just told me about how I'm going to wait. I'm holding off this I'll, time. I'll have it watched <laughs> by this evening. I'll pay, I'll pay my Paramount Plus fee and I'll have it watched right. by this evening. All right, we got a lot to do on the show today. Uh, even after the Steelers' victory, we have around a Steelers Facebook comments to read around 7.55 and we have Taylor Swift tickets this morning in the 9 a.m. hour. Be listening to that. It's Mikey and Bob, the Kiss Morning Freak Show. 96 one Kiss. The Mikey and Bob podcast. <laughs> Mikey and Bob. It is. Oh, oh, my goodness. You all right? right. <laughs> that's, that's rough right there. <laughs> It is Mikey. It is Bob. We are the 96 One Kiss Morning Free Show. We have a round of Steelers Facebook comments coming up this morning, even though they did beat the Saints yesterday, 20 to 10. Steelers Facebook comments coming up around 755. Also, we have your chance to win Taylor Swift tickets coming up in the 9 o'clock hour. You got a chance to win $1,000 around 9 on the 96 One Kiss Morning Freak Show. Um, also, over the weekend, the control of the Senate was finally decided following a key win in Nevada for the Democrats. The Democrats will hold the Senate. It's 50 to 49 right now, but they get the tiebreaker vote with Vice President Kamala Harris. Right, and then, right. Of course, there is the runoff election still to figure out who is going to be uh, the senator from Georgia between Warnock and Herschel Walker. Uh, that will be decided December 6th. And then still waiting on control. The House votes are still being counted in some close races out west with the Republicans ahead in the House race. Uh, 212 to 204 for the Democrats. So even though it's been almost a week now since a lot of us voted, still we are counting. We're still waiting on votes to be decided and now control of the House to be decided after the Democrats win control of the Senate over the weekend. All right, right now it's about 7 o'clock. It is time for us to take you back in a moment in time on the show that made us laugh and made us smile. It's time for today in Freak Show History. Here we go. Today in the Freak Show History. Today in Freak Show History. Today in Freak Show History, we take you back a few years. This is just one of those classic clips that I feel like we played on the show a lot, but it's withstood the test of time. It was down in Kentucky where a man was on the local news down there claiming that some people forced him. To eat his own beard. It was knives and guns. Everything just went haywire. He says two men threatened to kill him and tried to force him to eat his beard. Best news tease ever. <laughs> two men tried to kill him and force him to eat his beard. Last May, his beard was cut off, stuffed in his mouth, and he was ordered to eat it. <laughs> yes! That's only the beginning of what a Lawrenceburg man says he and his brother endured, all because of the fight over a lawnmower. Oh, of course it was over a lawnmower. <laughs> Why wouldn't it be? What other reason is there for it to be enforced to eat your beard? When I get there, I realize that they're already drunk. Punches started flying over this lawnmower. Charlie offered to buy it from me for $250. 
I paid 20 bucks for it. He thought I was trying to cheat. One thing led to another, and before I knew it, there was knives and guns. Yeah, before I knew it, everything just went haywire. He cut my beard and forced me to eat it. Before I knew it, they changed my body and forced me to eat it. Oh, God. He cut my beard and forced me to eat it. Georgia. It is Mikey, it is Bob, we are the 96.1 Kiss Morning Freak Show, your chance to win Taylor Swift tickets coming up in the 9 o'clock hour this morning, so make sure you're listening uh, for that. Bob, a little bit earlier I was mentioning just stuff I was watching over the weekend, and I was just saying how I missed the two-hour season premiere of the new season of Yellowstone, which is probably the biggest show on TV right now, because I do not have Paramount Plus where I thought it was, but hold on, what did you want to say? Yo, Mikey, uh, I just want to you know, uh, Yellowstone is on Paramount Network, not Paramount Plus. Paramount Network? Yeah, it's not on Paramount Plus. I got rid of cable, and I was pissed because I couldn't watch it last night because uh, I had Paramount Plus, and it said no. Wait, wait there's wait. a Paramount Network? Hold on. So I have the station that runs Yellowstone then because I do have cable. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. my God. Yes, you do. I didn't even watch it last night, man. <laughs> All right, well, I'm an idiot. Thanks for letting me know. I appreciate it. No problem, man. I mean, way to make things so confusing. Either that or do I just sound like your confused boomer uncle on Facebook trying to find, like, the Steeler game when it's on Amazon Prime only or something? You know, like, what? So it's not on Paramount Plus. It's on Paramount Network. Wait, is Paramount Network that weird channel that always plays Bar Rescue like 24 hours a day? I, just, I literally just looked it up, and it, it says, like, watch Bar Rescue, Ink I'm Masters, you. classic movies, and yes. Yellowstone. Yes, that's it. That's the network. It's got Bar Rescue, it's got Ink Masters, and that's it. <laughs> Well, and the and, biggest show on TV Yellowstone, yeah. with Yellowstone. All right, so very excited to get caught up on last night's Yellowstone premiere. Since I don't have to have Paramount Plus, it's on Paramount Network, which <laughs> I believe I have with my cable package. This is all just too confusing for me. Uh, also, no surprise, Black Panther Wakanda Forever was number one at the box office over the weekend. Uh, you know, me and Bob uh, went and saw it Thursday afternoon. Mm -hmm. Just a great movie. It made about $180 million over the weekend. It set a record for uh, November opening in North America, beating the previous high of $158 million from 2013's of The Hunger Games Catching Fire. So Black Panther Wakanda Forever is now the biggest movie opening ever uh, domestically in the month of November. Globally, it made $330 million. Wakanda Forever has the second biggest domestic debut of the year behind only $187 million by Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. So Doctor Strange opening weekend actually did a little bit better than Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Either way, Marvel and Disney are just swimming in our dollars. Yeah. This is kind of uh, this is kind of special though. Did you see The Rock tweeted about it? Which that's a big deal because The Rock, of course, plays Black Adam now, but in the DC, DC universe, yeah, yeah. which is Batman and Superman and Wonder Woman and all that. Um, the Rock, Dwayne The Rock Johnson wow. tweeting, a huge congrats to the entire Black Panther team. Biggest ever opening for the month of November. That's a lot of happy moviegoers around the world. Beautiful. Can't wait to see the movie. And then he tagged it, Black Adam. All right, hold on, though. Wait, hold on. I was going to read this as, that's such a nice message by The Rock, and he's in the DC Universe, but he ended it with, can't wait to see the movie. He didn't even see the movie? <laughs> Just shouting him out? You can't tweet the congratulations without seeing the movie, I feel like. He's just like, oh, they made a bunch of money. I'm in superhero movies, too, now. Whatever. Congratulations. I'll see Good you John. sometime. Yeah. All right, so I thought it was a great compliment by Dwayne The Rock Johnson, and you don't see a lot of crossover between DC and Marvel like that, like a main character in the DC universe congratulating Marvel right, for right. having a good opening, but sort of a backhanded compliment when he says, eh, yeah, I can't wait to see it. You're the and rock. And he hashtagged his own movie. <laughs> yeah, and he, you're right. He hashtagged the character. He, he signed it Black Adam. Yeah, weird. Instead of like the rock or just not signing it at all, but 
even, listen, he's in Hollywood. He could have saw Black Panther Wakanda forever, like two months ago, if he wanted to. All he had to do was ask, right? He could have got you a think, screener or something. Think. All right, backhanded compliment. I'm taking it back. The Rock then. I thought it was like, ah, oh, The Rock, he can do no wrong. <laughs> but now I'm looking at it. Him, him saying that he didn't go see it this weekend is kind of more of a backhanded compliment. All right, we have a lot to do on the show today. We're going to read some Steelers Facebook comments around 7.55. You could win $1,000 around 9.10. We also have your chance to win Taylor Swift tickets in the 9 o'clock hour. And we are announcing two big 96-1 KISS shows at the end of our show today around 10 a.m. Coming up next, though, go, go, Kenny Pickett. Uh, we will hear from Kenny Pickett at the big Steelers win yesterday. Next on the Kiss Morning Free Show, it's Mikey and Bob. 96.1 Kiss. It's Mikey, it's Bob, the 96.1 Kiss Morning Free Show. It is going to feel like uh, winter is definitely on its way this week. Clouds and sun today. It is chilly, though, with highs just in the low 40s. Everybody's excited, though, because, hey, the Pittsburgh Steelers won a football game Steelers. yesterday, beating the Saints at home 20-10, to 10, improving their record to 3-6. and six. Kenny Pickett got his first win in a game that he started and finished for the Steelers. Kenny Pickett did not have any turnovers, threw for 199 yards, and also had uh, 53 yards rushing. Here is Kenny Pickett. Hold on, do I got to get the uh, power mm-hmm. rating? I feel like, yeah, after a win, you got to get the power rating. He deserves right? it. All right, he does deserve it. Uh, Kenny Pickett talking about getting his first starting and finishing first full win as a member of the Pittsburgh Steelers. All right, here we go here. Yeah, my first, you know, first one all the way through. Really wish I was able to finish the first one, but um, it feels great to, to get this one and be up here, you know, after a win. Oh, man. Gets his first win where he starts the game. Does feel good. And finishes the game. Feels good. No turnovers. Even ran for some yards. Go, go, go Kenny Pickett. Oh, it feels so good when they win. Go, go, go Kenny Pickett. All right. Uh, so the Steelers get a 20-10 to 10 win. Uh, the running game was definitely more apparent for the Steelers. They had a total of 217 yards rushing, a very balanced offensive attack. Uh, Kenny Pickett with 53 yards rushing. Here was Kenny just talking about running more. You know, I think there were some times we got covered up. The O-line did a great job. And, um, you know, if I, if I see a seam, I feel like I can really utilize my legs, you know, to, to move the chains and get positive yardage. And I think it's something that, you know, I can continue to do and, and, and build on top of today. Oh, man. He sees the seams, and he's on the move. He hits those seams. Mm. There he goes. Go, go, Kenny Pickett. Woo! Go, go, Kenny Pickett. <laughs> Our show is so dumb. Uh, here was Kenny after the game just talking about the run game improving. The O-line was, you know, unbelievable, and those guys stuck with it. Yeah. You know, they, they worked hard on the oh, bye yeah. and, and obviously this weekend prepare for it. And then Najee and, and Jalen did what they do best. And, you know, we have two really talented backs. We kind of leaned on those guys, and I thought we had really good balance today. You know, they did a great job in the pass game as well. So, you know, in all phases, I thought, you know, we took a step in the right direction. So. Oh, yeah. Go, go, Kenny Pinkett! Step in the right direction! Go, go, Kenny Pinkett! All right, so good for the Steelers. It does look like they're moving in the right direction with a win, even though that game seemed sort of boring, right? It seemed like a painful game to watch. A lot of rushes, not a ton of splash plays. There was a couple interceptions by the Steelers Steelers defense. Steelers win, though. Steelers win. Uh, TJ Watts back, causing havoc, so that's fun. And the Steelers get a win 20-10. to Uh, They will now play the Bengals at... Akrasher Stadium on Sunday at 425 because that game has now been flexed out because Steelers Bengals not as sexy as it seemed at the beginning of the season with the Steelers having a three and six record. We will have your tickets to see the Steelers take on the Bengals around um, 730 on Thursday morning mm-hmm. here on 96 one kiss. But coming up around 755, we do this basically every time the Steelers play a game, whether they win or lose around 755, we will do a round of Steelers Facebook comments here on the 96 one kiss morning free show. It's Mikey and Bob. Uh, 
It's Mikey, it's Bob, the 96.1 Kiss Morning Freak Show. It's going to start feeling like winter this week. Highs today just in the low 40s, clouds and sun, but it is uh, it is chilly out there. We will have your chance to win Taylor Swift tickets coming up in the 9 o'clock hour this morning. We have two big 96.1 Kiss concert announcements coming up at the end of our show around 10 a.m., so stick around for that. Uh, now, you can leave us messages anytime during the live show, or if you're a Mikey and Bob podcast listener, just make sure you're listening on our free iHeartRadio app and hit that talk back microphone. Let's get to this. Hey, Mickey and Boob, I'm not drunk. You're drunk. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this message came in last night, I believe. I do not believe this is a morning message, so <laughs> this could have been a still drunk from the Stiller game. Hey, Mickey and Boob, I'm not drunk. You're drunk. Thank you, Boob. Of them Steelers. Yeah. That's the confidence boost we needed. Here we go. There we go. Although, I think you guys got to use your influence for good here. And it uh, don't matter how many times I sing it during the game, but how great would it be to hear that Power Ranger theme fire up at the stadium yeah. and have the whole crowd singing along, yeah. going, go, go, Kenny Pickett. <laughs> Is this the lead singer of Metallica? What's the guy's name? It sounds like James Hetfield, the lead singer of Metallica, right? Like, go, go, Kenny, pick it. <laughs> All right, one, one more time. You want it again? Going, go, go, Kenny, pick it. <laughs> like, that is that is rock band voice right there. Just going, go, go, Kenny, pick it. <laughs> All right. I do not think like whoever's in charge of the renegade button at the uh, at the stadium. Yeah, I, I do yeah. not believe that go go Kenny Pickett will be played. It should sure, but I do not believe that they're going to call upon me and Bob uh, uh, Kenny Pickett button to say yes to, go go Kenny Pickett to serenade the stadium whenever Kenny Pickett <laughs> does something good. Of course, it's a nice Monday because the Steelers won a football game, beating the Saints twenty to ten. Their record's now three and six. But hold on, Bob. I go to ESPN.com this morning okay. just to look right. at the stats from the game and everything, you know. And Kenny Pickett is the first thing I see on the main page of ESPN.com. Okay. All right, Kenny Pickett. And it says, All here right. comes the clickbait, stacking every NFL team's playoff chances are the Steelers totally out of the picture? Oh, boy. Steelers. Oh, boy. Going, go, go, Kenny Pickett. <laughs> All right, so hold on. Now they tease that. Hold is. on, though, because this is behind a paywall, but I have ESPN Plus, so I can click. get it. All right, hold on. Give it a click. It. All right, it says NFL playoff pitcher we tears. We no. Stacking all 32 teams' chances to contend. All right, so it goes with the true Super Bowl contender. Here. Okay. It's got Kansas City, it's got Philly, it's got Buffalo. Then the second tier. Oh, oh man. Right, okay. Love it. All love, right. Love some tiers. Love a Monday morning NFL tier. This isn't even power ranking. This is playoff tiers. Okay. Playoff locks are uh, Minnesota, Dallas, Baltimore. <sighs> Likely but no promises are Miami, San Francisco, New York Giants, Tennessee Titans, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. <sighs> Fourth tier is we're leaning yes tier of possible playoff teams. Seattle Seahawks. A possible yes. Cincinnati Bengals. Okay, New right. York Jets. All right. LA Chargers. All right. Tier five of a possible NFL playoff team. Wait, we are down to tier five now? This tier is called Weirder Things Have Happened. Okay. You have the four and six Falcons, the five and four Patriots, the four and six Packers, the four and six Cardinals, the three and six Browns, the three and seven Jags. All right, we're not even in there. Wait, that the, tier. Bro Hold the on. Browns are higher? Yeah. All right, here's tier six. Yes, I'm telling you there's a chance. Tier six on ESPN.com, NFL playoff chances. The Commanders are four and five. They're in tier six. The four, five, and one Colts are in there. The three and six Rams are in there. The three and seven Saints that just lost to the Steelers are in there. Hold on. Oh, no. I'm at tier seven. Is this the last tier? Is this we didn't make tier six? I got bad news. Wait, they put Kenny on the cover and they didn't put him in tier six? It was all clickbait. We're in the last tier, which is tier seven. Rest up for 2023. Oh, no. no. 
the disrespect to the Steelers' starting quarterback. Go, go, Kenny Pickett. <laughs> All right, so according to this ESPN.com article, right, <laughs> it has the the Steelers at tier seven for making the playoffs, oh, which is no. rest up for next year. It includes the two and seven Raiders, the three and seven Panthers, the oh, three and no. seven Bears, the three and six Lions, the three and six Broncos, the one seven and one Texans, and yes, the three and six Steelers, who the FPI chances to make the playoffs are at point one percent. Oh man, they they teased us with putting Kenny on the cover of ESPN.com, and then we click through, and they're like, "Ha ha, no chance, you have no chance." Go go, Kenny Pickett. <laughs> All right, coming up around 7:55, <laughs> we will read a round of Steelers Facebook comments and your chance at Taylor Swift tickets this morning in the 9 a.m. hour. It's Mikey and Bob. Taylor Swift. <laughs> It's Mikey, it's Bob. We are the 961 Kiss Morning Freak Show. Got your chance to win uh, Taylor Swift tickets. That is coming up in the 9 o'clock hour this morning. Also, your chance to win $1,000 around 9, 10, and two big 961 Kiss concert announcements coming up this morning around 10 a.m. at the end of our show. Uh, Steelers got to win. They beat the Saints 20 to 10. Uh, to improve their record to three and six. And then you already know where we're going. Even though they won, we're going to read the Steelers Facebook comments. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, You're boy. Going to a very deep, dark <laughs> oh, place on the internet. Yeah. Everyone is a GM. Yeah. Everyone is a coach. Yeah. Everyone is going to get traded. Everything sucks. It's time for Steelers Facebook comments. Uh, let's read some Steelers Facebook comments after they beat the Saints 20 to 10, taking their record to three and six. Six on the season. Uh, David A. just means out of the two terrible teams that were playing, the Steelers were the least terrible of the teams. All right. I mean, sure. Can't have nothing nice. Uh, John S. here. Um, and you remember watching the game? There was pigeons on the field. That's been a problem for a couple games. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there were pigeons on the field at different points of the Steeler game. John S., Pigeons have done more for this offense than Matt Canada has this season. All right, come on. <laughs> hey, give one of the give the main pigeon a headset, maybe. Let the <laughs> let the pigeon call a play. Let the pigeon call a play. Uh, Jeremy J here should have been thirty plus points put up by the Steelers. We're still accepting mediocrity. Tomlin in Canada should be fired. Oh, really? After what? Oh, damn! You open lonely. Even after a win, there goes the coach. Still fired. There goes the offensive coordinator. You're still three and six, you bum. You're out. And I'm going to miss Mike and Matt. And I'm going to miss Mike and Matt. Uh, Steelers Facebook comments after they beat the Saints 20 to 10. Tom D. Great. Way to go, Steelers. Why are we messing up our draft pick now? Sam H. I slept through the entire game. All I can say is even a blind squirrel gets a nut every now and then. Frank R. The Saints suck. We will need to do better. I've been a fan since 1973. Watch All right. out. Watch Steel out. Curtain credentials are out. Real fan here. I know what this team can look like. I know what this team does look like. And I know what this team should look like. I mean, why aren't you coaching, Uncle Frank? Let Uncle Frank coach. Grab Come a on. Grab a headset, Uncle Frank. You're calling the next play after the pigeon calls a play. <laughs> I love that the Steelers win a game. We get a couple Facebook comments deep, yeah. and we have Uncle Frank in a pigeon calling plays <laughs> instead of Matt Canada. Put Uncle Frank in a pigeon costume and hey, let him out there. Hey, things better than Matt Canada at this point. <laughs> Is Uncle Frank in a pigeon costume better calling plays at the Steelers than Matt Canada? <laughs> That's where we're at. That's where we're at. All right, a couple more here. Steelers Facebook comments uh, after they beat the Saints 20 to 10. Mike M, looking at the schedule, looks like we still have six more garbage versus garbage matchups this season. <laughs> Maybe the Steelers will actually win and ruin any hopes of drafting anybody good with a high draft pick. I love that Mike went through the schedule and was like, 
we're a bad team. We're a garbage team. And we play six more garbage teams right, on the right. schedule. <laughs> like, we have six more garbage versus garbage I matchups. I love that when they lose, it's doomsday, doomsday. And when they win, it's just like, oh, messing up the draft pick. Yeah, yeah. That's where we're at. Uh, Greg T here. Kenny Pickett still isn't great or even good. I've been a fan since the 80s. I've seen some bad QBs. And Kenny's one of them. All right, listen, he's... He's played a couple games. Can we not seriously? Can we not make him a 1980s Steeler quarterback? He's only played a couple games. We're not there yet. Do we have to turn him into Mark Malone? <laughs> Do we have to turn him into Mike Tomzak? <laughs> All right, let's see where we're at here. Kevin W. The pigeons on the field were very fitting because Steelers offensive coordinator Matt Canada is. A bird brain. Whoa! Boom. Settle down, guy. You're gonna get your got him. You're gonna get your Facebook account suspended with spicy posts like that. <laughs> you might not like the man's offensive play calling, but to attack him like that and call him over the line, oh, bird break. He's a human being over the line. Matt Cannon's got a family. And we'll end here. Steelers Facebook comments after they beat the Saints twenty to ten. Uh, Daniel R. TJ Watt has the balls of a bull. <laughs> it's Mikey. It's Bob, the 96 one kiss morning freak show. Uh, one of the biggest shows on TV returned last night. Uh, Yellowstone. Now I said I couldn't watch it cause I don't have Paramount plus. That's where I thought I could watch Yellowstone mm -hmm. last night. And I'm just like, whatever, I'll get Paramount plus when it's on like the last episode of the season. Then I'll give them my money, but I completely screwed that up. Hey, Mikey, just calling to tell you that Yellowstone is on regular Paramount, not Paramount Plus. Yeah. Watched it last night, so if you have regular Paramount, you should be able to watch it. Yeah. Thanks. Have a great day. Love you guys. Bye. I, I'm just an idiot. I didn't know that, like, I didn't know that I even had, I didn't even consider a Paramount channel. <laughs> I just thought anything with Paramount is Paramount Plus and very boomerish of me, but hold on, yeah. that's not it. Hey, Mikey and Big Bob. Hey, uh, Mikey, I know you were just talking about Yellowstone. Uh, it premiered on Comedy Central last night, so, I mean, if Wait. you don't want to even, you know, watch it on Paramount Plus and what? just want to catch it regularly, it's uh, on Comedy Central, you know, one of the channels that Paramount Plus owns. But, yeah. yeah, it was on there last night, and then came on, you know, a new Reno 911. Thank you. All right, guys. Hey, have a good one. We can't still be making Reno 911 episodes. <laughs> Really? That's the thing? Wait, so was last night, like, you know, sometimes when they do the uh, MTV VMAs, yeah, yeah. Uh, it will be on every station that Paramount, like, or Viacom owns, like, a CBS sort of property, right? So it'll be on Comedy Central, it'll be on BET, it's on, like, CMA, I think. Or it's, it's on, they like, do that with Yellowstone? Is that what it was? I didn't know that Yellowstone had gotten to that point where they sh – did they really show it on Comedy Central last night? Are they just trying to get the biggest number possible doing what they used to do with the MTV VMAs and showing it on, like, five different stations? And here's my dumbass at home just thinking, like – Really could be watching Yellowstone, but I don't have no opinion. Plus, I'm just an idiot. I should have been watching it uh, last night. By the way, speaking of uh, MTV, the MTV EMAs were over the weekend. That's the European Music Awards. It was held over the weekend in Germany, hosted by Rita Ora and Taika Waititi. Uh, the winner for best song, and you can't really argue with this, right? The best song over the past year, the MTV EMA went to, I mean, just, just look up the lyrics. How can you deny Nicki Minaj super freaky girl winning for best song? <laughs> Uh, Taylor Swift showed up, so she won all the awards. Uh -huh. I mean, when you're a big that, artist, did like Nick, did yeah. Nicki show up? Is that what it was? Like she showed up, I, and I, then I, like I didn't. I know Taylor was there. I didn't, nobody else in the category showed up. Uh, let me see. Is that what Nikki happened? There. Let me see. Now you're making me see if Nikki was there. All right, hold on. Let me go to Nikki's Twitter account. Let's see if she showed up. If that's what it was, because like Lizzo, Lotto, Harry Styles, uh, nobody. Uh, I don't know if she was there or not. All right, no, I just. Why would you ask me something? I don't know if she was there. I wasn't watching this. I couldn't even find Yellowstone last night, damn it. I don't know if she was there. 
All right. But Taylor Swift was there. I do know that. She won Best Video at the EMAs for All Too Well. The 10-minute version and Best Artist also went to Taylor Swift um, at the EMAs, the European Music Awards. Wait, hold on, though. While we're in Germany, can I just play this real quick? Because there was an NFL game for the first time ever Sunday morning for us in Germany. Uh, Tom Brady and the Buccaneers beat the Seahawks. But there was a point in, in the game and listen, I know we're mostly uh, whatever Pitt, Penn State-ish type of audience. But listen, we got some West Virginia listeners too. Right, right. And at one point at this NFL Germany game, you know, coming back from commercial, they're playing music in the stadium. They play Country Roads by John Denver. And in Germany, the whole crowd just belts it out. <laughs> Shut up a minute there, guys. Maybe let the crowd sing the song. And it, maybe, it's so bizarre, yeah. Maybe just don't talk. run a play while the crowd in Germany <laughs> is still singing John Denver Country Roads. A pretty cool moment um, at that uh, Germany NFL game as the Bucks beat the Seahawks uh, yesterday. We will have Taylor Swift tickets coming up in the 9 a.m. hour for you this morning. Stick around for that. You also have a chance to win $1,000 around 9, 10, and we announced two big 96-1 KISS shows at the end of our show this morning, right around 10 a.m. It's Mikey and Bob. 96-1 KISS. It is Mikey. It is Bob. The 96-1 KISS morning freight show. It's going to feel wintry and cold this week. Uh, clouds and sun today. It's chilly with highs just going to the low 40s. Uh, it's definitely pants, and it's almost time to bust out the winter coat. I thought about it this morning. <laughs> I like how we've gone from like, oh, we know we're going to wear shorts yeah. as long as possible. And now we're wearing pants. And now it's like, I am going to wear a hoodie every day in here. And I am going to fight my winter coat as long as I can. But this week, especially this morning when I got up, I was like, uh, might be soon here for the uh, for the winter coat. All right, Bob, what is the naked story streak at here on the show? We like to keep track of how many shows in a row we can cover a naked story. What are we at here? Uh, today will be 18. Hell of a run here. Yeah. Hell of a run going for the 18th straight show. There's always people uh, getting naked, getting arrested, making the news. It is time for a naked story. Here we go. Whoa! It happened again. Someone decided to get naked. It's time for another naked story on the 96.1 Kiss Morning Freak Show with Mikey and Big Bab. And look at you, state of Ohio. You got a naked person. All right, Ohio. A Cleveland man was arrested after a manager of a motel reported a naked man in the lobby around 1030 at night. According to uh, the 911 report, the first report of the naked man came from a woman who reported to see a naked man with a cane trying to get into the lobby of the hotel. A cane, you say? <laughs> Ma'am, what color was the cane? Are you sure it was a cane? <laughs> what, what color was the cane? <laughs> Is it fleshy color? <laughs> what color was the cane, ma'am? Can you identify like I, this cane? I feel like I have more questions for her than I do the naked guy. You sure you saw a cane, ma'am? <laughs> he was naked with a cane? Um, <laughs> after running through the parking lot naked for a few minutes, the naked man... Obviously dropped the cane. Then, yeah, and I don't feel like you need the cane if you can run through the parking lot naked, right? No. Uh -uh. <laughs> are, ma'am, are you sure you saw a cane? Because he's out in the parking lot doing touch and goes right now. <laughs> he's running the 40-yard dash <laughs> naked in the hotel parking lot. <laughs> Ma'am, are you sure? Because he's out in the parking lot doing <laughs> shuttle drills. 
Are you sure There's you have no a cane? cane to be found, ma'am? So after running naked through the parking lot for a few minutes, the naked man then burst through the lobby and decided to lay down on a table in the breakfast area of the hotel. Oh no, not the not the hot continental breakfast. Oh no, not the hotel breakfast nook. Don't do it. Serving sausage. <laughs> What would you like? A uh, glass of orange juice and some man sausage? All we have is a naked guy with a cane, sir. <laughs> Police responded, found him naked in the breakfast area. The 47-year-old man was arrested on charges of public indecency, disorderly conduct, and criminal trespass. It is a naked person making the show once again. All right, we have your chance to win Taylor Swift tickets. Be listening for your cue to call in the 9 o'clock hour. You can win $1,000 around 9.10 and two big concert announcements that we will announce at the end of the show right around 10 a.m. It's Mikey and Bob. 96 one kiss. The Mikey and Bob podcast. I feel like we all call our pets weird names. Our older Cat Marco, we now call him Bad Boy City. It's just a weird thing that I think a lot of pet owners. Bad Boy City. <laughs> Stream the Mikey and Bob podcast on iHeartRadio or wherever you get your podcasts. Ah! Kid Leroy, Dua Lipa, Lizzo, Backstreet Boys, Demi Lovato, and more. They're all performing in December at Madison Square Garden. It is our sold out iHeartRadio Jingle Ball. You can get qualified for a full VIP trip out there and $1,000 for you to win coming up around 9 10 here on the 96 1 Kiss Morning freak show all about them Steelers this morning Steelers beat the Saints coming off the bye week uh 20 to 10 their record now improves to three and six Kenny Pickett getting his first win in a game that he started and finished and Mike Tomlin uh beating the Saints for the first time in four tries he has now beat all the other 31 NFL teams eighth straight start against the Steelers Andy Dalton's teams have lost 13 games in a row to the Steelers that was a horrible Saints team. Yeah, and he, like that. he looked lost at times. Yeah, it's it's good, and it was nice to have some defensive splash plays. It was good to have the running game actually working. It was good to have a loud crowd at Acrisure Stadium. But, yes, it's hard to really get a gauge on, okay, are they turning it around because it's the Saints, right? right and right. they're not a great team either. Like somebody said earlier in the Facebook comments, the Steelers have a lot of garbage versus garbage games coming up. But T.J. Watt, who's been injured since week one, also made his return, made some plays. Here was T.J. Watt, how he felt after the game. Felt good. Felt really good. Uh, probably won't feel really good tomorrow, but I felt good today. All right. And, of course, the crowd was into it. Uh, here was T.J. talking about that. They were wild, going crazy. And, um, like I said, I hope we can keep that up because I just want them to know how big of an advantage it really is for us as a defense. I mean, it, it makes life hell for offenses, and um, we're going to continue to try to make plays to feed off of them. Yeah, including the two interceptions. TJ said the crowd helped with the splash plays. Be able to create an awesome atmosphere, be able to create an awesome atmosphere as a defense, being able to fly around, being able to pin our ears back towards the end there. I mean, that's all you ask for as a defensive rushman. We always talk about wanting to create splash here, and we need splash. Um, we need to continue to do it, and it's something that we're always hunting, but it, it comes with creating a, a, an incredible atmosphere, and that's what we had today. We're, we need that splash. Hunting splash. We hunt that splash. Oh, hell yeah. And they found some splash. Yes. As they beat the Saints 20-10, to 10, improved their record to 3-6. and six. Uh, For the Steelers next, they play the Cincinnati Bengals. This was the game that's like, hey, Bengals and Steelers don't quite doesn't quite have the sexiness that it had yeah. at the beginning of the year. It's been flexed out. It's now a 425 start uh, Sunday at home. We will have your Steelers Bengals tickets to give away around 725 Thursday morning here on our 961 Kiss Morning Freak Show. Now, we have Taylor Swift tickets to give away in the 9 o'clock hour. Be listening for that here on the Kiss Morning Freak Show. It's Mikey and Bob. 961 Kiss. The Mikey and Bob Podcast. No thanks. I like my meat real and my men with chest hair. <laughs> Stream the Mikey and Bob podcast on iHeartRadio or wherever you get your podcast.
Vodka. It is Mikey. It is Bob. We are the 96.1 Kiss Morning Freak Show. Sometime in the 9 a.m. hour, be listening for us to play a song from Taylor Swift Midnight. And also you will hear the cue to call in your chance to win some Taylor Swift tickets. Coming up in the 9 o'clock hour here on the 96.1 Kiss Morning Freak Show. Bob, before we go any further, though, we have a very special iHeartRadio Elton John announcement. This is pretty cool. Check this out. Hi there, I'm Elton John, and I'm here to announce something very special that's coming to iHeartRadio. In celebration of Elton John, Farewell Yellow Brick Road Tour, presented by Alliance for Lifetime Income. This Sunday, November the 20th, I'll be at Dodger Stadium in Los Angeles, playing my final concert show ever in America. I'll be joined by some very special friends, including Kiki D, Brandy Carlisle, and Dua Lipa. All part of Elton John Live. Farewell from Dodger Stadium. Live streamed globally and exclusively on Disney Plus, November 20th. iHeartRadio will be broadcasting my last song live from the stage, along with a special message I'd like to leave my fans with. I'd like to invite you to listen as I say farewell to America. iHeartRadio presents Elton John, Thank You to America, the final song. Join us live on iHeartRadio stations at the iHeartRadio app. Sunday, November 20th at 10 p.m. Pacific, right here. So there you go. That's pretty cool. If you haven't heard about that yet, Elton John doing his, uh, what he's calling his final show in America, Farewell Yellow Brick Road from Dodger Stadium. That'll be Sunday night. But here on 96.1 Kiss, we will be airing his final song in a special message from Elton John. Uh, that'll be Sunday night, what, like 1 a.m. our time? So technically like Sunday night, Monday morning? Yeah, it's your time out around 1 a.m. So if you yeah. work overnight, I guess, tune into the station there. Um, Sunday Sunday going into Monday at 1 a.m., you will hear the final song that Elton John performs in the United States on his farewell Yellow Brick Road Tour um, at Dodger Stadium this weekend. And you can watch that on Disney Plus, too. But we'll be airing the final song here on the uh, on the station. All right. Now, earlier, Bob, we got a pet update from Raccoon Tim. Raccoon Tim has been leaving us messages for a couple months now. He uh, first uh, contacted the show telling me he can get me as many pet raccoons as me and my family want. Uh-huh. We don't want any pet raccoons, but we've gained a new friend we have. in Raccoon Tim. So this was his weekend. Hey, Mikey and Big Bob, Raccoon Tim here. So, Mikey, I did it again. Everybody, meet Cuddles. Yeah. The long hair, fluffy rabbit. Yeah. Paid 20 bucks for him. Rescued him at the reptile show. Okay, so Raccoon Tim's weekend included going to a reptile show and paying $20 to acquire Cuddles the Rabbit. I also found a dealer yep. to get me hedgehogs. Oh, boy. <laughs> and I found a dealer for red-eyed crocodile skink. Okay. And a white-eyed crocodile skink. All right, so that is uh, Raccoon Tim's weekend. He now has Cuddles the Rabbit. Um, at his Comment on Raccoon Tim spray painting his testicles gold. Okay, uh, like I'll get to that <laughs> clip in a minute and we'll explain that from last week. Can you please add Bob's laugh to his laugh track? Thanks, guys. All right, so hold on. I will add that to Bob's laugh track because Bob had an incredible laugh last week when we got this message from Raccoon Tim. Hey, Mikey and Big Bob. <laughs> Raccoon Tim here. I was 19 years old, just got done watching Austin Power and Gold members. <laughs> Why do we put an ass on everything in Pittsburgh? Who remembers Austin Powers gold members? I was in my brother's garage. I had a can of gold spray paint. Oh, no. Yeah, you know what comes next. No, nope, no. Nope. I dropped the pants, spray painted the testicles gold, God, <laughs> screamed that it burned, and ran and jumped in the shower. <laughs> Last week when Raccoon Tim said, but again, our show is a lot of you listening live in the morning on your morning commute, taking the kids to school. But then a lot of you are just strictly podcast listeners now. So right, we have right. people who caught up over the weekend with last week's show, including when Raccoon Tim said he saw Austin Powers gold members and spray painted his testicles gold. Now, let me get to her request. Let's add Bob's um, Austin Powers.
Bowers Raccoon Tim Gold members laugh to his 32nd laugh track. This is the best of Bob's laughs we've acquired over the years. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yeah, to take your laugh, because your laugh is so good, and it brings me joy every time. To make a 30-second highlight reel of your best laughs, it is just, it's one of my favorite things we've ever done on the show. That is the weekend die for you. It is Mikey and Bob, the 96-1 Kiss Morning Freak Show. Your chance to win $1,000 coming up just a couple minutes here on 96-1 Kiss. We will give you the nationwide keyword to enter on our website, 961kiss.com. A uh, big win for the Steelers yesterday, beating the Saints 20 to 10, taking their record to three and six. Do you think that the groundskeepers at the stadium, do you think they just hate the pigeons? Like, why are the pigeons on the field? Because we've seen this happen before. Is the is the grass at the stadium just that delicious? What is going on there? Were these certain games that pigeons are just in the background, like, of the play? Do they try to reseed the field in between games and that's what it is? Is that why the pigeons are there? Do you think it's, like, delicious new grass or something? And the pigeons are like, oh, man, hey, stadium's got new grass. Maybe wow. it's just a bunch of reincarnated yinzers. <laughs> oh, Keep man. Keep pigeon form where you're just like, <laughs> they're letting us on the field. Wait, hold on one second. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> now, we did have that time recently last year where somebody dumped dead relatives ashes yeah yeah on the field like not on the playing field but you know they went to the front row and dumped angels in the the end zone yeah yes angels in the end zone and the Steelers won like three or four straight after that we remember that last year right Mm -hmm. but what you're saying now Bob is this is a group of passed on yinzers who are reincarnated as pigeons and somehow have some sort of reincarnated Yinzers pigeon group that meets, and they're like, hey, you guys want to go to the Steeler game? Yeah. <laughs> Where are we sitting? So you mean, so they're like on top of the stadium? They're like, I can't see anything from up here. This sucks. <laughs> you want to go down the field then? Is hey, fly on in? Well, what if we're going to stop them, you know? Well, what if we get stomped on and die? We're already dead. <laughs> what do you mean? What if we die? We're pigeons. We came back as pigeons. Why? We already how, died. How much worse could it be? No, somebody <laughs> would Or Matt Canada would have got pooped on, right? The Steelers offensive coordinator. <laughs> might have happened. Coach Tomlin might have even got pooped on yesterday <laughs> if those were Yinzers reincarnated as pigeons. So I was I was riding with you up until the point, Bob, that the pigeons are conscious of what's going on, that they used to be Steeler fans. Reincarnated, in, man. In the human form. But no, no, no. There is the yard line seats. No, no. See, there is a group of big enough pigeons at the Steeler Saints game where there's always one fan. <laughs> There's always one Yinzer pigeon who would have definitely pooped on Matt Canada's head yesterday. So I'm saying those might just be actual confused pigeons who are just trying to get a delicious treat out of the Acrisure Stadium grass. But big win for the uh, Steelers yesterday, 20-10. Uh, to 10 taking their record now to three and six. If you missed it earlier on the show, we read a, it was a great round of Facebook comments for after a win. Mm-hmm. I really enjoyed the Facebook comments today. So if you missed any of those, get caught up with our Mikey and Bob podcast. And we have your Steeler tickets this week. Remember the game got flexed out of the prime time window. Steelers now play the Bengals this Sunday at 425 at home. We'll have tickets to give away to the Steelers Bengals game Thursday morning around 725 here on the Kiss Morning Freak Show. All this late night.
talking. It is Mikey and Bob, the 96 one Kiss Morning Freak Show. We are in the 9 o'clock hour. Be listening for your cue to call in when we play a Taylor song, and you could win tickets to go see Taylor Swift when she comes uh, next year here to Pittsburgh. So Taylor Swift tickets will be coming up soon. Now, you can leave us messages anytime, whether you stream the show live or if you're a Mikey and Bob podcast listener. When you're streaming on our free iHeartRadio app, all you have to do is hit the talk back microphone and you can send us messages now last week on the show we got a message from this woman who had a dream about us hey mikey and bob it's rachel so after i've been listening to the show for about two years daily it finally happened i finally had my first mikey and bob dream appearance yeah. which might mean i should probably listen to you guys a little bit less <laughs> but i don't see that happening love you keep up the great work all right i remember playing that message on the show last week and just saying how don't we get any dream details right right you right. can't say like hey i've, I've been listening. i called the other day about you guys popping into my dream yeah. and i just didn't think the dream was exciting enough to say I was basically at a concert, and you guys were hosting it. I know that there's not hosts at a concert, but you guys were doing something before the main act came up. Then I heard someone say, hey, is that Raccoon Tim? And then someone else said, no, he's not here yet. And then my dream switched to something else. Right. So that was basically it. All right, you're right. We shouldn't, we shouldn't have called you out last week and said, what's your dream about? Because it was a pretty boring dream. But we were I mean, Raccoon Tim made the dream, though. We forgot to include that or what? Like, I love that Raccoon Tim made the dream. All right, let's get to a couple uh, other messages here. Let's get to this. What's up, Monster Mikey? And weighing it at over 300 pounds. <laughs> Big oh, wow. Bob! Wow, look at that, oh, man. Intro. You got the intro there, Bob. What's going on, brother? This is Mikey the Trucker here. One that lives down the street from you guys. Mikey. <laughs> I'm going to be in town next week. Oh. Maybe we can link up. You can, you know, like I said before, stretch your legs on this thing, brother. All right. Take it around the block. Yeah. Bob, you coming too, brother? <laughs> Love you guys. All right, listen, this guy's eventually going to get me in his truck. He is. Uh, he's been leaving us messages before because I've always had the dream of, now we'll talk about my dreams now, right? Mm -hmm. I've always had the dream mm -hmm. of getting in one of the big semi trucks, like the big cabs where they can like sleep in there. Right, where they have, like, wanna, the bed in the back. I want to see what's in there. So this guy listens to the show. He lives by us and is always trying to get us in his vehicle. This might be the week, Bob. This <laughs> might be about to see and smell what's in there. <laughs> this might be the week that I uh, that I get in there. All right, let's get to another message here. Hey, guys, it's Chris. I'm here with my son, Chubbs. We listen to your podcast every day. Yeah. And he wants to try real hard to get on the radio. So you got something to say to you guys. Oh, boy. Hey, but first, Mikey and Shower, right, Bob? Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold I mean, I know that listeners like to drop nicknames on us, but did did he call you Shower Right Bob? Yeah, yeah. And did I get was it Butt Butt Face Mikey first in the shower? Butt first Mikey in Shower Right Bob. All right, so he's saying that I'm doing it wrong, Butt first Mikey, but Shower Right Bob. I just wanted to say hi because we listen to your podcast every single day. We get caught up on the iHeartRadio app. Love you. Love you. Steelers. All right, that's that's proper right ending. There. Yes. Proper ending. Steelers. Teaching the kids young. All right. Well, uh, salute to both of you. Thanks for listening to the show. We appreciate it. You have your chance at Taylor Swift tickets. Do not turn the station. Be listening at some point before 10 a.m. for your chance to win Taylor Swift tickets. Also, right around 10 a.m. when we end the show, we have two big 96.1 KISS concert announcements. Stick around for those here on 96.1 KISS. It's Mikey and Bob. Taylor Swift. <laughs> Nice. All right, it's Mikey Bob, the 96.1 Kiss Morning Freak Show. Let's get a winner for our Taylor Swift tickets. Hello. Hey, am I caller 10? What's your name? Marissa. Hi, Marissa. How are you this morning? What do you got going on? I'm just working, but I'll be really excited if I win Taylor Swift tickets. Marissa, you're caller 10. You win Taylor tickets. Wow. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. <laughs> Can't be too excited at work, though, right? You got to keep it a little oh. toned down. Uh-huh. <laughs> I work from home, so I can be as well. Oh, wow. Let's go. 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 Let's
four tickets to go see Taylor Swift at the Big Eras Tour uh, coming to the stadium next year. Taylor Swift tickets go on sale this Friday to the general public. There's also her verified fan pre-sale that's happening this week. It is going to be Hunger Games for everybody. Everybody's going to have their cards or a parent's <laughs> credit card, debit card. Everybody's going to be like, all right, let's go. I'm getting these Taylor tickets. So we will have more Taylor tickets all this week here on 96.1 KISS. And if you want the details on how to win or a bonus chance to win Taylor tickets, just go to our website, 961kiss.com. Now, it was a big win for the Steelers yesterday, taking their record to 3-6 and six now. So, Charles, there's a chance. Turn it all around. Let's go on. Turn it around. Mm-hmm. Uh, they beat the Saints 20-10 to 10 yesterday. Uh, Coach Tomlin after the game. Hold on. Let me get my sensual music here because we like to slow Coach Tomlin down and make him sensual Coach Tomlin. It's always nice after a win to hear from the sensual Coach Tomlin. Uh, here he was after the big Steelers win yesterday. We don't take it for granted. We appreciate it. But we also understand it's not anything mystical. It's good work. Um, it's minimizing negativity. Uh, staying on schedule on offense and possessing the ball, running the ball. Uh, winning possession downs on defense. Oh, nothing mystical about a girl. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, nothing mystical about the Steelers win. They did get the run game going. Here is Coach Tomlin talking about finally having a balanced attack in a run game. You know, quarterback mobility is a component of it. Um, I thought Kenny did some good things with his legs. I thought the runners ran hard. and um, I thought we came off the ball as, as some bigs up front. Mm. Um, we ran off the ball. Mm. And, um, and so we'll just keep going. Bigs up front. Oh. All right, the bigs up front did a good job yesterday. Hey, pick it. You know, first and foremost, we took care of the ball. You know, as a young quarterback, man, in competitive circumstances, that's a difficult thing to do. We don't we don't discount his ability to do that. You take care of the ball, you give yourself a chance to win and, and make yourself a tough group to beat. All right. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Get a little run game. Kenny takes care of the ball mm-hmm. and the Steelers uh, get a win. Uh, here is Coach Tomlin just saying, you know, there's some other things we can work on now, but it's good to get the uh, good to get the win. A lot of positive contributions in all three phases, obviously. Some things we can do better and things that we need to work on, um, but it's good to work on those things with the win. And so, and so we'll take those lessons and move forward and get ready for our next opportunity. We'll be right back in here next week. Um, we just got to keep digging. Oh, oh. Our Steelers coverage is so stupid. <laughs> like, what, what are we doing? I've, come, I've come, come completely normalized to this, but so far our Steelers recap today after they've won, uh, you know, won a game is uh, reading ridiculous Steelers Facebook comments, yep, yep. singing Go Go Kenny Pickett like the Power Rangers theme song, mm-hmm. and pitching down and slowing down the Thank head you. coach of the Ooh. Steelers Ooh. to make his post. Game thoughts. Sounds so good. <laughs> All sensual. Uh, Steelers' next game is going to be on Sunday at home against the Bengals. That's the 425 game that got flexed. We will have Steelers Bengals tickets to give away around 7:30 Thursday morning here on the 961 Kiss Morning Free Show. It's Mikey and Bob. 961 Kiss. The Mikey and Bob podcast. It is Mikey and Bob, the 961 Kiss Morning Free Show. Oh my goodness, you're right. Or, of course, you can listen to it on the radio home of the Steelers, 1025 at DVE. We got your chance to win Post Malone tickets coming up around 9 a.m. It's Mikey and Bob. Stick around. We got your Post Malone tickets coming up just a couple minutes here. It is Mikey and Bob, the 96-1 Kiss Morning Freak Show. Let's get to this message. Good morning, Mandalorian Mikey and Boba Fett Bob. Love the Star Wars names there. <laughs> I know how much Mikey loves Star Wars and yep. how much it can get him off track. So I just wanted to... Pop in and ask if he had a chance to watch Andor. I know he gets the Star Wars sweaties when he starts to talk about uh, <laughs> Star Wars on the show. So I just wanted to get his opinion. Love you guys. Have a good one. Bye bye. All right, wait a minute here. Wait, <laughs> like Star Wars sweaties. All right, there's a couple things. If you've been listening to the show long enough, where you know that I get very passionate about talking about on the show. Star Wars is one of those triggers for me. Uh, Marvel, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, is another one of those triggers for me. 
power washing. <laughs> Just yeah, yeah. Talking about power washing, I can get really hype and excited. Is that what it is? Is it, is it the Star Wars sweaties that I get when I talk about Star Wars? I think you do. Yeah. Uh, so, yes, yesterday on Disney Plus, a brand new Star Wars show uh-huh. premiered called Andor. The first three episodes came out yesterday. I did say on yesterday's show I could easily watch those three in a day, but me and my daughter Addison are rewatching all of the Star Wars movies and shows. So, instead of watching new Andor yesterday, I was re-watching and wow. watching for the first time with her um, the first three episodes of the Clone Wars series. So you didn't even watch the new series? No, and it's a weekly series, I believe, and there's like, I don't know, 10, 15 episodes or something. So I got time. It was just the first three episodes. So, I no, I did not watch Andor yet because I, with my daughter, we are doing a daddy-daughter Star Wars watch. So we watched the first two movies. Usually you start breaking down if you don't see something within 24 hours. I mean, I'm going to I'm gonna see it this before. Okay. I'm, like, talk to me on Monday and I'll tell you all about Andor. But, no, I did not see it all, man. By the way, oh, I got to be careful here because I'm starting to get Star Wars sweaty, but oh, Marvel too. I mean, you stopped and told me, by the way, and then just wiped your face. <laughs> I what, did. what the hell are you about to tell me? I don't know. Well, I'm going to tell you there's a new episode of uh, She-Hulk on Disney Plus today. And that, of course, is a very popular Marvel series where Ooh, they have by the way. new weekly Ooh. episodes. <laughs> Ooh. Listen, well, I, I'm... Ooh, I was wipe my brow. No, I here's what happened. I was transported from our studio to my house. <laughs> you were. You on, were on my Roku stick. <laughs> I was hitting Disney Plus, <laughs> and instead of going to Star Wars, where Andor and the Clone Wars, yeah, everything's yeah. waiting for me, I went to the Marvel section where there is a brand new episode of She-Hulk on today. So very excited about seeing a new episode of She-Hulk. Very excited to watch all the Star Wars stuff. Up with my daughter and eventually yes i will watch this new star wars show and or i feel like i'm officially star wars sweaty now this has been enough star wars talk i, I think we're good yeah this, this, we're this good. is what it like when i get star wars sweaty you've reached your limit here yeah okay all right let's give away some post malone tickets then here we go we're now on 96 one kiss Hi, bob it is the 96 one kiss morning free show we got to give away our post malone tickets here hello Oh, wow, that's awesome. How you doing? <laughs> yes, this is awesome. <laughs> Hi. What, what's your name? How are you doing? My name is Buddy. I'm working for Custom Turf right now. Yeah, buddy. yeah buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Are you uh, calling for Post Malone tickets? Probably right. Yes, sir. Buddy, caller number nine. You're going to see Post Malone. Wow. No freaking way. You're lying, dog. Wow, buddy. Yeah, dog. <laughs> oh, my God. No way. This is awesome. You're having a good day today, aren't you, buddy? I am now that I got to talk to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This well, is so cool. Uh, next week, it's, it's Wednesday, right, at the arena. We got a pair of tickets for you to go see Post Malone. Just hold on one second. We'll get you all the details on how to get your tickets, okay? Yeah, buddy. We will have more Post Malone tickets for you to win uh, tomorrow morning, Friday morning around 9 a.m. here on the Kiss Morning Freak Show. So everybody's hyped for tonight. It is the weird Thursday night football. Steelers are in Cleveland uh, taking on the Browns. And a guy who is a legit friend of ours now, but really just started as a caller to the show. Uh, His name is Nate. We call him crazy Italian guy Mm because that's just... He's Italian. He's a big dude with a bunch of tattoos. He's very excited. He is such a diehard, just not even Pittsburgh sports fan, just a diehard Pittsburgher, just born and bred Yinzer. And like weekly during the Steeler season, he will put out these Steeler hype videos. So you can follow him on Instagram and TikTok at Nate. The crazy Italian guy. So if you want to see these videos at Nate, the crazy Italian guy, he, I think he rented a boat yesterday (laughs) and was on the Ohio river Uh with the, and again, he's a big, massive dude. He lifts weights and he has a little, it almost looks like a child's life preserver around his neck. He's at the front of the boat. There's some Titanic vibes going on. And here is crazy Italian guy getting us all hyped. For Steelers Browns Thursday night football. Crazy a day, guy. Sailing down the Ohio River on my way to tame this puppy pad. All right, tame the puppy pond in Cleveland. Nothing's going to stop us, Pittsburgh. Yes. By the way, I rented this boat from Pittsburgh Boat Metal. <laughs> Call him up. Tell Shane 
crazy if daddy guy sent you, you'll get it this cat too. I just love that he's like a yin, a, a yinzer influencer. Yes, now. He's yes. like, he's a yin, yin's fluencer. <laughs> like he's, he's got a boat rental going on. And I want everybody on this voyage with me. Yes. We're going all the way, Pittsburgh. Yeah. We had a little wave yeah. in the water on the way. Yeah. We lost to New England, I, but it's okay. Yeah. The whole division lost. We're going to be fine. Yeah. Thursday night, yeah. we wipe up these brand stakes. <laughs> And that's going to be it. No fair weather this yeah. Pittsburgh. I can see the Super Bowl on the horizon. We're going to be king to the world. All right, so he's doing the Titanic thing. He's Amazing. on the front of the boat on the Ohio River. Amazing. <laughs> So you got to see the video again. You can follow Crazy Italian Guy. He's at <laughs> Nate the Crazy Italian Guy on Instagram and TikTok. So, you know, Celine Dion's playing. He's doing the Leo King of the World thing, right? Uh, from Titanic mm -hmm. on the front of the boat. And then the just record scratching. <laughs> it's just the best. So it is Thursday night football tonight. Steelers at Browns. You can watch the game on Amazon Prime Video. It's also shown locally tonight on WPXI and on the radio side, the home of the Steelers on the radio, 1025 DVE. And then, of course, it's weird to do it on a Friday, but we will recap the Steelers game tomorrow. Probably read some Steelers Facebook comments on a Friday. That's yeah, like a Monday yeah. thing, but we'll do it on tomorrow's show. Steelers! For you, I guess you need some really easily. It's the Kiss Morning Freak Show. Mikey and Bob, remember our iHeartRadio Music Festival is happening uh, tomorrow, Friday and Saturday night out in Vegas. It's Megan Thee Stallion. It's Diddy. It's Halsey. It's Morgan Wallen. It's Luke Combs. It's Pitbull. It's Marin Morris. It's Black Eyed Peas and so many more. Big weekend of music out in Vegas, and you can stream it for free on the CWF. You can watch it on CWTV.com, or you can listen to it right here Friday and Saturday night on 96.1 KISS. Now, let's get to um, today's Raccoon Tim update. This guy has been leaving us messages for a few weeks on the show now. Uh, he has a lot of animals. He originally started because my family took in a baby raccoon for like a weekend. Uh, because it was, it needed help. We needed to get it to a shelter, so it lived in my garage for a weekend until we could get it to a a shelter. Right, right. right. Uh, so Raccoon Tim uh, sent a message, Mikey. I can get you as many raccoons as you want if you want a raccoon for a pet. And now he's he's told us about his other animals before. I'm Mikey and Big Bob Raccoon Tim. You can also call me Animal King. Yep. I have a pit bull shark pet named Dippy, a black and white cat named Fluffy. A leopard gecko named Spots. Yeah. Six rats, George, XOXO, Oreo, Snowy, and Lucky. I mean, it just keeps going on and on with the amount of animals that Raccoon Tim has, mm -hmm. right, that he's told us about. But hold on. Raccoon Tim also wants to uh, also wanted to share some pet nicknames. Hey, Mikey and Big Bob. Raccoon Tim here. <laughs> My cat, Fluffy Butt. His nickname is Fluff Enough, I guess. <laughs> okay. God, yeah. All right. Yeah. My dog, Dippy's name is Dippawack. Because he's the dippy of all Cadillacs. All right, I, there's a lot going on there, but <laughs> hold on. That's not the end of Raccoon Tim messages because we have another message from him. Hey, Mikey and Big Bob, Raccoon Tim here. And by the way, I love I love that every message starts he introduces, to say, yeah. hey, Mikey and Bob, Raccoon Tim here. Never change Raccoon Tim. What is the first thing you learned to cook? Oh. I was about three years old when I learned that I could climb on the counter I can stuff bread into a machine, yeah. press a button, and out comes toast. Yeah, toast. I feel like toast may be the first thing we all learn to cook. Sure, it's, yeah. Right? No, no, no. I take that. I feel like cereal might be the first thing that I learned to, like, make for myself. Maybe a bowl of cereal? I don't know. I feel like a little kid. I'm just spilling milk all over the place. I don't know. That was a while ago. I don't really remember Raccoon Tim. Except for the one day I caught the kitchen on fire. Oh, Raccoon. Oh, no. My mom and dad weren't happy. <laughs> Oh, geez, where'd his phone go right there? He's what, gone. What was that sort of dismal out there, Raccoon Tim? Like, did he just say, <laughs> I burned, I, I I caught the kitchen on fire when I was three years old making toast? My mom and dad weren't happy. And then it feel like he chucked his phone into a pond. My mom and dad weren't happy. <laughs> I 
Mike, what happened to the phone there? All right, so that is uh, a wonderful listener to the show, Raccoon Tim, who has been leaving us messages for a few weeks now. <laughs> it's Mikey Bob, the 96 One Kiss Morning Freak Show. Happy first day of fall, oh, y'all. Yeah. All right, spooky season, knock, knock. Who's at the door? Pumpkins! <laughs> Uh, it is going to feel like fall today. Highs just in the mid-60s. Cloudy, breezy with some spotty showers. Now, Bob, what is the naked streak currently at? Because we got to get to a naked story right now. How many shows in a row have we done where we have covered a naked story? What are we at? Today will be 27. 27 straight shows with a naked story. There's always people getting naked, getting arrested, making the news, then making our show. It is time for a naked story. Hey! No! Hey, how it's time for another naked story on the 96.1 Kiss Morning Freak Show with Mikey and Big Bad. A lot going on with this naked story out of Atlanta. Mercedes knew the Atlanta rapper known as Shorty. Dredd is accused of being nude and relieving himself from a balcony. All right, this is an Atlanta rapper known as Shorty Dredd. Way up there. People here said he did it so often they thought about using an umbrella to cover themselves when they walked. What? in this area <laughs> what is happening here all right so this guy there is a it's rapper like, in atlanta i mean this isn't like a super well-known rapper or anything no, like this right it's like mid downtown where it's busy people are walking around and this guy's just naked out on his balcony yes but he's also urinating off the balcony too. too and people are so used to it now that they consider bringing umbrellas when they walk by the building he told me he did nothing wrong i'm innocent i promise i didn't do this all right so that is shorty <laughs> dread right there saying he's innocent he did nothing wrong he didn't do that. What he's accused of doing had people who work near 14th and West Peachtree Street using words like gross, unconscionable, and insane. I mean, really, do we need do, do we need to interview people now? Is this what we're gonna do? They're gonna interview people about hey, what do you think about the naked guy <laughs> urinating off the balcony? Like, there's gonna be nobody in the news interviews where they're like, you know what? We we could use some rain. We could use some rain. We need that rain. Like, there's nobody who's going to be like, yeah, you know. I love it. I love it. Is it more? Is it his apartment? Yeah, he can pee off the balcony if he wants. No, of course people are going to be like. That's disgusting. What is wrong with these people today? Holy smokes. You got to. I mean, that guy didn't even get the holy smokes out. He just goes, holy smokes. <laughs> people who work and walk in the area say for weeks a man routinely walked out of a. What, what is that? Weeks. weeks. High rise unit at the Icon Midtown Apartments with not a stitch of clothes on. All right, so he's walking out on his balcony naked. They say he then relieves himself through the balcony bars with yeah. his bodily fluids falling down below. Like, is his toilet not working? Then he doesn't want to go all the way down a bunch of flights of stairs. Oh, or maybe he's got a clog. Elevator. Maybe he's got a oh, clog. Wow. And then he's just like, well, I don't want to go all the way downstairs. It's okay if I just pee off the balcony because he done it. He, he's been doing it for weeks. I asked New if he relieved himself from the balcony. No, I wasn't. I promise I wasn't. Who was that in the video? Yeah, they had a video. Uh, they asked who's in the video. I didn't see no I promise I wasn't in the... <laughs> All right, hold on. He shuts up real quick because they're like, hey, we got video. It's you in the video. Yeah, it's not yeah. you. Who's in the video? And he's like, I w he's basically trying to say like he wasn't in the video. You know? Like that's what he, that's that's what like, he was But we have the video. Yes, but we have the video. So again... He then gets arrested, goes to jail. Why? Because for weeks, he would walk out onto his balcony naked and use it as a toilet. But not on the balcony, down below to anybody who was walking by. Just disgusting. Just gross. And it is a naked person making the show once again. Not even a blind kiss. The Mikey and Bob podcast. I'm the one with a maple glaze donut. I yeah. mean, if it comes knocking at my front door, I'm letting it in. Okay, is there a donut that if a donut knocked on your front door, is there any donut you're denying or is every donut getting in? Oh, they're all getting in. What happens when the Steelers are playing Thursday night football? Well, we just get messages like this. Nothing else, just this. Steelers! That's it. No, That's all. no hi, no I like <laughs> listening to the show. No, my, hi, Mikey and Bob, my name is this, just somebody sends us this. Steelers! That's what we're about. That's what uh, Pittsburgh is. It's a big game tonight. It's Thursday night football. You can watch it on Amazon uh, Prime Video. You can watch it on uh, WPXI. You can listen to it on DVE. Steelers at Browns tonight, which means 
No matter what happens in the game, there will be Facebook comments on the show tomorrow. If the Steelers beat the Browns, we might read Steelers and Browns fans' Facebook comments. Either way, we're going to have some Steeler fun on the show uh, tomorrow morning. Hey, also, how about a little bit? Uh, let's go, Pans, man. Hey! Hey! Man. Camp starts today. Like, yeah, yeah. Right now. Rolling now. They're in Cranberry. It is the start of Penguins Camp. I know they did a bunch of media stuff yesterday. Oh, let's go, Pens, man. Uh, I just loved to see Dan Potash, um, our buddy from AT&T Sportsnet, rekindling uh, his friendship with Evgeny Malkin. They did an interview yesterday, and uh potash was just there doing a bunch of stuff it's just good to see the guys back together uh penguins training camp is open today right now actually up in cranberry at the uh, upmc lemieux sports complex 17th season with sid gino and latang and um 17 straight playoff uh appearances so uh non-game day practices are free and open to the public so uh it is that time how about a little bit so Penguins Camp is uh, is starting officially today. Tomorrow on the show, we're going to have more Post Malone tickets around 9 a.m. And, Bob, before we hand it over to the Ryan Seacrest Show, what would you like to name the podcast today? Hunky Hand Grenades in a Blanket. Okay, if you listen to the show today, that makes a lot of sense to you. We were sidetracked by Pigs in a Blanket talk on the show today. And by the way, the poll that I put up on Twitter, it's got over 1,000 votes well over uh, during our show today. What do you associate Pigs? in a blanket with hot dog or, or sausage wrapped in dough or a crescent roll or pork or like wrapped in cabbage right right, right. like 72 percent of people are going with like hot dog wrapped in dough now which is like shocking to a lot of you know slovak and hungarian people in pittsburgh but you know i mean pigs in a blanket we were confused because we'd never heard it Referred to as hunky hand grenades. Yes, <laughs> hunky hand grenades. Also a name for it. Uh, good name for the podcast. Hunky hand grenades in a blanket. If you missed any of the show, get caught up with our Mikey and Bob podcast on the free iHeartRadio app or wherever you're streaming and listening to your podcast. That's it for us. We'll see you tomorrow. Hey, go Steelers! 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 All right, Ryan Seacrest. I'll bring it up to you later. Bye. Pittsburgh. Can you to look up? What dinosaurs potentially sounded like? I found a few TikToks of dinosaurs that sound like animal mating noises, that sound like weird uncles laughing, and I just think that you guys would have a lot of fun with those. So do with this information what you will. Okay, is it just like dinosaur <laughs> talk thing going on? Noises? Or is it just like noises? Nobody knows what dinosaurs sounded like, right? Are, are we just making Maybe that up? Does. No, I don't know. I'm, I'm saying, though, like, when you think of a dinosaur, like, think of uh, just any of the Jurassic Park movies. When a dinosaur makes a noise, like, you see Big T-Rex, it's like, you know? What if it, what if it made the sound of, like, a horn? <laughs> we have no clue. Right? <laughs> Nobody has any video. Nobody has any recordings of the dinosaurs. We have their bones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we know they were real. Uh -huh. We know by piecing their bones together what they looked like, you know, where they lived, what they ate, things like that. Yeah, science has given us that. But has science been able to tell us what dinosaurs actually sounded like? Or do we just look at the size of them and just like... Well, it must have been loud and mean. That brontosaurus looks like it'd be more like a... And then that... Meows like a, it just meows like a cat. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Like, big <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. We don't know what... Yeah, I didn't think what noises do dinosaur makes uh, would be on the uh, show today, but, uh, but here we are. All right, let's... Uh, is this a dinosaur fart we have uh, here? Uh, yep. Okay, wait, how do we have a dinosaur fart? Nobody knows what dinosaurs sound like. Hold on, this is science. apparently the audio of what... I don't even... Is this what scientists... Science, think? Mike! Is this, is this what TikTok thinks a dinosaur it's fart sounds science. like? Yes. Okay, this is apparently a dinosaur fart from TikTok. I don't know. <laughs> Probably just shook like car window 